how to do the criterion C summative on processing and evaluating the results of digestive system designs. This is due on Saturday, February 27. So the things that you need for this summative are your three digestive system designs from criterion B, a summative, slide seven, uh, the gizmo digestive system so that you can recreate your three designs, feed it the same food and run the gizmo to get results. And then your formative, which is the Google Sheets, where you created the double bar graph to record your uh, result, results on your criteria C digestive system designs, right? So you need your um, criterion B summative. You will need your slide seven so you can see your three designs. You will need the digestive system gizmo, so you, you can recreate the design and run the gizmo. Um, and then you will need your formative, right? So if you haven't done your double bar graph yet, then you will need to start with your criterion B, slide 7, so you can see your three designs. All right, so let's go to criterion C. It asks here to present collected and transformed data. So you're going to put in your numbers here, and then you're going to copy paste your double bar graph on this big blue box for slide three. Uh, and there are YouTube videos linked here, so you can see how to create your double bar graph. So the main thing is, if you've already done your criteria B summative, then that's good. If not, then you really need to do your slide seven so that you can run the gizmo and gather results. Right, so for example, here's my first design, and I'm feeding it tofu. I have decided to feed all of my three designs the same food. And then I run the gizmo, I click on the play button, and it's going through the stomach. And I'm also reading this. Uh, description of what's happening because then that tells me where the absorption of water and calories are happening and that would help me with my criteria C uh, summative all right and as it gets eliminated I will see the results up here and it shows me that the system absorbed 0.79% of available calories and the system absorbed 93.75% of the water in the food. So those two numbers I'm going to put into my formative which was due last Monday and this is it right here. All right, I was able to do that and I'll do the same thing with my uh, design 2 and design 3. In the formative, the YouTube video on how to create a double bar graph is also linked here, so watch it. And I was able to generate this double bar graph. So with this double bar graph, this is what I want, and these are the numbers I want as well. So I'm going to get these numbers, and I'm going to put it in my first, my second, my slide three, and then I'm going to get this bar graph and I'm going to copy this chart and go to criterion C and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to paste and link all right so that's that and these YouTube videos will help you in filling out this slide all right let's go to the next one what does your results tell you? Does any of your design absorb water and calories? Explain with scientific reasoning using descriptions of organs from the gizmo. So this is where, where we practice during class on the Jamboard. It's a long, long explanation. You're telling me what did your design one uh, absorb? Uh, how much water and calories did design one absorb? how much water and calories did design to absorb, 
how much water and calories did design three absorb and then tell me using the descriptions of the organs from the gizmo and this is where these things would help out as the food was going tell me that all right it's going to be pretty long that's the longest uh that's the longest um uh, this is the longest answer that you'll have. And use the class Jamboard to help you with some examples because your classmates were able to generate some acceptable answers. So that's slide four. Slide five is all about how to create your, how to validate your hypothesis. So use the sentence then and tell me if your hypothesis was supported or not supported by your data, by your results. These are your results. You chose a design from criterion B on your hypothesis. You chose a certain design, right? So for this person, this person chose design one. And now there is uh, results. Here's her design one, right? So now you're now thinking for slide four, was my hypothesis supported by my, uh, was it supported by my, um, by my data? And for this person, it looked like design one did absorb the most water, but it still didn't have, it didn't absorb a lot of calories. So it's, with that, this person can say that, yes, my data supported my hypothesis, although it still didn't absorb a lot of calories, right? And then talk about what's probably missing, why the absorption of calories didn't happen, and then talk about why did the absorption of water happen? What organs uh, did you use for that to, to happen? All right, so slide five is val validate your, uh, no, that's slide, slide six, slide six, validate the method, all right? So now with your designs, right, and seeing the results, looking at your designs, here's your designs, if you bring these designs to the real world, right, like to a surgeon who's trying to help someone, uh, you know, with digestive system problems, if you bring these designs to the real world, will it be helpful? How, how can you apply this to the real world? Will it be helpful for others? Right, so for this person, you'll probably say, it's not helpful because although a lot of water was, was absorbed, calories were not absorbed, and the body still needs calories to function. All right, so that's the validity of the method. And then the last one is improvements or extensions to the method. So with this one, think about, now it's more of like thinking about your design four, right? What would you add or take out of your best design to improve the absorption of water and calories? And then why would you do that? And then it'd be great if you can, uh, if you're going to add another one, then take another, do, do it in the gizmo, right? Create your best design the way you think it should go. And then uh, take a screenshot of it and uh, paste it onto, take a screenshot of your best improvement and then paste it onto um, this one and then that would complete your that would complete your um, your summative right so you're going to tell me uh, uh, I to improve to improve uh, to improve the best design uh, small organs like the pancreas should be added so that more absorption absorption of water and calories can happen because and that's where you start telling me uh, what do those added organs what will they do to help with absorption because our task is to absorb water and calories all right so that's the whole summative for criteria C. Work hard.